Five more boxes of Oreos have crossed my desk, including a couple of imports from Asia. Do Oreos from Asia have the white stuff to knock off even the mightiest red, white, and blue entry? Hello, food freaks, and welcome to That's Rank. In the past, we've taken a look at wacky, limited-time Oreos like gingerbread, java chip, even Rocky Road, but we've never ventured outside of North America. Well, that changes today because we've got five new Oreos here for review, including this very scary-looking one that is either matcha or wasabi, and I'm not sure which one it is. You know, let's not waste any time. Let's get to eating cookies. Mocha Caramel Latte is one of Oreo's newest creations, getting a release back in the month of April. And it makes sense as a late spring deal because it's got this nice tall glass of icy looking coffee. Wait, was I supposed to freeze these cookies? Mine are room temperature. I hope I didn't screw this up. Well, hey, go ahead and check that out. It looks like we've got two different cremes in our cookie. We'll need to see if they actually taste different or if this is like the damn Fruit Loops all over again. Well, there's that unmistakable smell of fake coffee. This actually smells exactly like the Java Chip Oreos that I reviewed last winter, and uh, I, I didn't love those. This is not a good start. So you can see the two distinct crowns. Although distinctly visual, I'm still skeptical about the flavor, but we'll get to that later. First, we gotta take a bite with this all together as one. Is it weird that I'm not excited about this? Like. I feel like coffee and caramel, like those belong together, but I don't know, it's kind of bleh. Eating it, I can't tell if the creme was an amalgamation, so I'll get another cookie and see if we can separate those two, if we can. Yeah, they're not really coming apart, but start with this one. Flip it over. A little bit of this one. Okay, they're definitely different. The light brown is caramel and the dark brown is, um, well, it's brown. It's okay, I just wouldn't buy these again because to get a second buy out of me, it has to be better than a normal Oreo and this ain't that. And apparently Michelle agrees with me, giving these one star. Very disgusting cookies. Taste too much like coffee grinds and doesn't taste right. Fun fact, coffee grinds used to be my online dating name. This is the second of the latest new releases and I'm on reasonably excited about this. Score bars and crunchy are my top level candy bars. So if this does any degree of emulation of either of those two things, I'm putting on like five pounds this week. And if you're not familiar with the crunchy bar, check out my video from last Halloween where I covered Canadian exclusive candies and you'll see what's up. Now the package is promising sugar crystals and I love it when Oreo puts crunchy little extras in the cream. Uh, sorry, creme. Okay, on the cookie side view, I don't really see any little flavor crystals, but let's unscrew the lid and take a closer look. No, I don't know about you, but I'm not really seeing little toffee bits strewn throughout this. Um, I swear if this thing lets me down, I might rage quit on this episode. Oh man, that's the stuff. Oreo, I love you so damn much, and this is why. It's perfect. If you're a toffee fan, they've absolutely captured the flavor of a toffee candy bar. I feel weak in the knees right now. I think I'm in love. S. Mark gives these one star and reports, I'm an Oreo fan and decided to try a new flavor. The artificial taste was overwhelming with no toffee taste. As for the sugar crystals in the filling, I think they forgot to put them in. The filling also had a light whipped consistency and tasted like flavored grease. Thank goodness I ordered regular Oreos at the same time. Look. S. Mark, um, I'm not gonna stand for you talking about these Oreos like this. We're gonna need to take this outside. Well, friends, it's time to get patriotic as Oreo slapped the red, white, and blue on their cookies and taking it 100% America. I mean, just look at this package. My inner red-blooded American is just swelling with national pride right now. And sure, I live in Canada, but this artwork has rockets red glare with bombs bursting in air, and I have little doubt within the deep recesses of the Oreo factory that the flag is still there. So apparently, these should be littered with red, white, and blue popping candy, and that does appear to be exactly what we've got going on here. I always love it when Oreo does the popping candy thing, and I know it's not for everybody, but let's be honest, I'm like a five-year-old inside, and popping candy is still hilarious to me. Look, flavor-wise, it's a normal Oreo, which means it's a great Oreo. 
Oreos are the best. The popping just goes ahead and makes them fun and I'm not complaining. I'm an easy target for this stuff. It all comes down though to whether or not you enjoy having things explode in your mouth. Proud American Maria Facone gives them five stars and reports overpriced, but they were in fact a delicious explosion. All right, on to whatever the hell these cookies are. Like, what does this look like to you? My first thought was that this was toothpaste, but there's no toothbrush included. I assume the Chinese use toothbrushes and not wooden spoons. I didn't Google it, but I feel pretty confident about this. My nightmare scenario is mayo. I'm gonna throw up, mark my words, I will spew all over this table and probably my camera as well, and that'll be the end of this channel. Maybe it's elementary school glue? Most people don't eat that with a spoon, but I definitely knew a couple of kids that did, and I would still take that over the mayo. What on earth is happening here? I've got all kinds of packages. I wonder if they're all the same thing. Okay, this has a really weird funk to it, and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm trying to remain optimistic, but I'm legitimately now afraid of mayonnaise. I guess it's a mint Oreo. Like, I'm not ruling out toothpaste. It's got something. Oh, it says right here on the back. I suppose I could have read the English ahead of time. It's yogurt. It's mint yogurt. I don't want mint yogurt. This is gross. Not worth your seeking this out. Um, I love the green mint Oreos that we have here in Canada because there's no yogurt included in those. And those sell for like $3. This is like $10, save your money and eat a better cookie. I give you a review, but I can't actually find any online. You know, apparently the Chinese like to keep their weird mint yogurt Oreos a secret from the rest of the world. I'm not ruling out that there's been a full government ban from talking about them online, but maybe it's just a trick to get us to eat terrible Oreos. And up last, whatever this is. It's either matcha or wasabi, and it could legitimately be either one. I made it a point not to Google the box ahead of time to find out, because if it's wasabi, well, we're gonna go down on this ship together. Let me be clear. Wasabi Oreos are actually a real thing. Like, this is not something that I made up to build drama. If this isn't them, I'll edit in some pictures and post so you can see what a wasabi Oreo looks like. And if this is them, you're not gonna need them because the visual of my choking like I swallowed a handful of micro machines is gonna be all the evidence that you need. Please be green tea, please be green tea. I got these weird packages again in different colors. I feel confident that these are green tea. My nostrils did not immediately burst into flame. I'm sorry to let the sadists down who were hoping for the worst. So there's two kinds of people on this planet. There's people who like green tea and then there's weirdos. So this is excellent. It's smooth, light, and just a little bit bitter. The outside cookie sort of pulls it all together to remind you that this is in fact a dessert. Vaughn Joseph McComb offers one viewpoint, giving them five stars and reporting good. And while you mull that over, Donna has a counter argument, giving them three stars and saying, okay. All right, so you're almost certainly wondering the final rankings for the day. Well, in dead last is these weird yogurt mint things. I don't wanna see them again. I don't wanna taste them again. They will be given away on a buy nothing board where somebody picks them up and is also disgusted by them but I will have given them full warning and that's on them. In fourth place is the coffee one. And I don't think there was ever a question. Oreo just can't get coffee right. And I don't know what their problem is, but they probably need to hire a barista. Third place is matcha. You know, we had a really strong lineup today and that's not to dump on this cookie. It's a really good cookie. It was just up against a couple of Goliaths. So grab your slingshot, David, you've got some work to do. Second place is the fireworks. It's a normal Oreo that pops, which in and of itself is amazing. Great showing here. And I would definitely buy this again. And the winner, the toffee Oreos. Controversial choice? You know, maybe. I've seen the reviews on Amazon. They're not the most popular of all releases. I hear you. I also don't care because you're wrong. These are amazing. Oreo, please partner with Score. Rename these cookies the Scorio and print cash. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today while I go ahead and eat cookies. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel so maybe one day I can afford to eat cookies again.